Thank you and good morning everybody. Uh, today we'll make some forward-looking statements. Uh, one of the bylines we like to say at MAG, since 2003 we have a track record of turning a lot of these forward-looking statements into facts. Here's a picture of our uh, most advanced project in Mexico, the Juan Ocipio project. Uh, you can see the twin portals now going down to the uh, mineralized zone, about 350 metres below surface. Uh, we started this job in October of 2013, and you can see the massive amount of waste <coughs> that's been pulled out as we've now got down to access the ore body. And uh, you can see the mechanism that we're using to access that ore body, that beautiful looking tunnel on the uh, bottom left for you, uh, five by five ramp uh, going in at probably half the industry cost per metre for a ramp of this size. Fully bolted, fully shock created, cement floor. This is being built to be a very long life asset. Now this is a video that we're going to show. We only have 10 minutes to talk, so a picture tells a lot more stories. So if you could run that from the back, that'd be great, thanks. As I said, we started in October 2013, um, developing a single ramp into the ore body. We were making the investment decision based on the back of a PEA that we released in 2012. Uh, 350 metres of vertical decline at an average uh, ramp slope of 12% uh, has taken us all the way down to the ore body. Uh, in 2015, when trying to sterilise the beneath the bonanza zone that we have here, uh, we had significant success with the drill bit. The, it was obvious that the depo deposit grew uh, at, at depth and uh, we upsized the project. We released the PEA of that upsized project in 2017, November, and that involved twinning the ramps. So you can see we now have two ramps going down. That facilitates the waste removal required for the extended or the um, expanded mining rate going from 2,600 to uh, 4,000 tonnes per day. Uh, you can see the two veins there, the uh, echelon veins of the Valdecanes, uh, some pictures of the construction that's happened to date, the ramp, uh, obviously the amount of waste that we've pulled out of there. And uh, this project is uh, moving ahead nicely for us. Uh, snapshot of MAG, we've been around, as I said, since 2003, focused on looking for high IRR projects. Silver in Mexico, which typically comes with zinc, lead and gold. Um, Monocipio, a joint venture with Fresneo, we're 44% uh, non-operating partner in that. We're an eight person company with a market capitalization close to a billion Canadian dollars. Uh, Fresneo do all the work for us and we're very grateful for that. Um, I'm gonna show you how good this project is in terms of its uh, spreadsheet metrics. But what you really need to keep in mind here is how important it is that Fresneo as the operator is building and then going to run this mine in their front yard. Our balance sheet's great. Uh, we have $142 million of cash at the end of Q3, uh, no debt. And that $142 million US covers our share of expenditure to build the project as per the PEA that we released in November of last year. Uh, good share float, only 85.5 million shares on issue. Uh, we've funded this company via equity raises, and the majority of the equity raises that we've done have been at uh, 52 weeks high. We're very committed to preserving shareholder wealth. You can see there our share price, like a lot of people in the sector, we're trading near a 52-week low. And so the buy line, and you know this, Robert, now's the time to buy, mate. It's uh, two for one for MAG at the moment, so uh, fill your boots. Uh, I said we're in the front yard of Fresneo. You can see here the blue joint venture ground nestled in against all of Fresneo's operations. Silver's been mined here for 500 years. Fresneo themselves have been mining in this area for over 130 years. And this is now the preeminent district, of silver district in the world, eclipsing uh, Cerro um, Rico in Bolivia. One of every 10 ounces of silver ever mined comes from this place on the planet. And the red lines you can see here is the top or a planned view of the epithermal veins, which is the nature of mineralization in this system. 
And uh, you can see how there's all those red lines on the Fresneo side and how they are starting to extend now with exploration onto the joint venture ground. In fact, in 2003, MAG came onto the joint venture ground, had a different geological theory. Hole number one was the discovery hole into the Juan Ocipio vein. Since then, over almost a billion ounces of silver have been found in this area and we're still drilling and we're still discovering more silver. As I said, it's important to note Fresneo, the operator, they currently operate the Sacito mine, which has two 4,000 tonne per day concentrators on that red line called Herias, which runs across to the joint venture ground in his Val de Canes. So that's the largest silver mine in the world. So the operators of the largest silver mine in the world are going to build their third plant on the same vein and bring it online in the middle of 2020. And the Juan Ocipio project will become the largest single silver producing asset in the world. So we're very fortunate to have these people build their third consecutive operating facility on the same vein. Just another overview of the uh, Fresneo system and you can see how the joint venture ground there is nestled in against the Fresneo, the, the joint venture is nestled in against the Fresneo ground. So looking into the earth, looking on a section now, you can see the yellow bonanza zone that was the 2012 PEA. That represents one of the highest grade undeveloped silver mines in the world. About 400 metres high, so 350 metres below surface, about 400 metres high. And we put those four stars down there in 2015 to just prove like all the other mineralised systems in this area, mineralisation finishes, and then we can move on and drill some of the targets that we want to drill on the property which we believe are equally as prospective as this one was that we discovered on hole one. We didn't do a good job sterilising the vein. What we actually found was substantial mineralisation at depth. A six metre wide zone in the Bonanza zone blew out the 30 metres at depth. We continued to get extraordinary good base metal grades down there. Gold continued through the system. Silver still exists at depth in this system and copper comes in. This is the resource. We almost doubled the global resource number with that deep drilling, and that's what facilitated us, or the operator Fresneo, in consult with us, expanding this project. This is where at the moment we've finished those twin declines, underground development's continuing. Um, we're in lead, long lead item order uh, negotiations now, and we expect to order the long lead items and then start surface construction here in the near future. Just another view of the expanse, expansive underground work that's been uh, conducted down there, down to the vein. There's the discoverer, Dr. Peter McGaw, our chief exploration officer, giving the vein a big kiss. Here's the metrics on the project. Don't bother looking at them now. All you need to know, at $8 silver, the rest of this industry is almost shut. This project generates a 15% after-tax IRR. So it's a real box ticker, but the key to the future for MAG is the bottom line here, there's significant exploration potential to come. If you can run that last video, thank you. Maybe, oh, here we go. So this just shows the uh, development of the property, the, uh, the original Bonanza zone, then the deep zone coming in with the first five holes, follow-up drilling, and then as we continue to drill, we, we upsize the project, we continue to expand it at depth, and now we have a new echelon vein, the Anticipata vein coming in now. The dilating zone's a 30 metre wide uh, section that runs through this deeply, and uh, you can see the mine plan getting superimposed on this. The PEA only mines 17 million of the 25 million tonnes of mineralised material at depth. What's 30 metres look like underground in terms of a mining width? Two school buses end to end. Beautiful deposit to mine. Uh, as I said, we've accessed the, the uh, mineralised zone now. Um, we're building a conveyor belt coming out. There's an internal shaft being constructed to go down and remove the, or mine the deeper material as we're mining the Bonanza zone. And uh, I reiterate, this project's moving forward quite quickly. The zonation in here is typical of the epithermal vein system. And what we're sitting on, actually, 
is the fluid input point, one of two only ever found in this, um, as I said, preeminent silver district uh, in the world. And we have more dual targets on that joint venture ground you can see in the white. And uh, we can't wait to get away from Valdecanes to drill those. But unfortunately, every time we drill a hole there, we continue to have success. We have a great shareholder base and I'm done, zero, zero, zero. I guess we don't have time for questions, huh? Thanks a lot. <laughs>